everybody what's up good morning it's your girl kayla here and i have with me my very first nars concealer it and when i'm also wearing my nars foundation as well this is in the shade fiji and i felt that the shade that would match me the best in the nars soft mac and play concealer is affogato so it's a light one 0.25 Affogato. So we're going to open it together. I didn't open it yet because I wanted to do it with you guys. So i open it up. Oh, look how cute it is. It's so adorable. I love it. The box over there. I love it. So of course it has the black and white logo on the front. It's in a little cute little jar. I'm going to read to you guys how much you get in here. You get 6.2 grams, which is equivalent to 0.21 ounces. So, yes. And this is what the bottom of it, the little jar looks like. It has a little sticker. It tells you how much you get. It tells you, it tells you uh, the shade. And we're going to open her up. If I can get her open. I'm trying to get her open. It ain't been a budget. Alright. <laughs> I can't get it open, you guys. This is a problem. Okay, there we go. It took me like an hour to get it open. And this is what the shade looks like. Now, I don't have the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer Concealing Brush. I don't have the, you know, the matching brush. However, what I do have. I have my Morphe 2 concealer brush and it's also slightly tapered at the top and I hear that this concealer it looks like it would go on thick right but it doesn't it's actually thin it go but it's full full coverage so it's people sometimes look at it if you're there at Sephora and they're like it looks like it would be really thick under the eyes but it's not it's actually really light under the eyes. I tried a sample on when I was in the store yesterday and I really liked the shade. So we're gonna take a little bit of product and I'm trying to gonna take a little bit because my dark circles they don't play games. They need full coverage or they're not gonna budge. So I took a little bit of product product onto my brush. And we're gonna see. I'm gonna just gonna kind of hold my under eye like that. Oh wow, guys, it goes on so soft, and it seems like it's melting. This shade might be a little bit too light, but it's kind of hard because they don't have the matching concealers with the same names as they do as the foundations. But what I like about this shade is that it can brighten up my under eye. So that I am quite liking a lot, actually. And if I need to, I can always go and pick up the correct shade. But for now, I'm just gonna use what's left on this brush on, on my lid, which is what I'm doing now. They actually, this can be used as, if you're doing uh, a really in really creative eyeshadow look, which I specialize in, if I must say. And if you're doing a half cut crease or a cut crease, this stuff works like a dream. I've watched plenty of YouTube videos on it, and I, no, I have yet to be disappointed. So, I've really blended in really well. Now, I'm curious to see if this is like a crease-free concealer. That's what I'm wondering. That's one of the biggest questions I asked the beauty advisor. They did say that it's not known to crease, but if I would like, you know, kind of to use a certain, like a special setting powder for it or a baking powder, that might help the, you know, risk of it creasing. But I don't. I, it looks pretty good, you guys. I have to say it looks really good. And it's brightening up my under eyes, which is a plus. 
So we're going to take the same amount of product on this brush, just like we did on the other eye. it so far and it and you know what I like about it is that it dries down to a soft matte just like the foundation it doesn't dry looking um, too like dried out you know what I mean you know how certain foundations or certain concealers that match the foundations that go with it if it's like super 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 matte it can look a little dry but this one is not doing that, and it's, see on, on this side, it blended in, so it's, right now, since I just, put, I just put it on, of course, so I'm going to use the rest, just like I did on the other lid, I'm going to use it up here, to kind of, because I'm going to be doing a really awesome eye look day in the next video, which I'll be, which should be up within the next hour and a half to two hours. So if you're interested, and I will give you guys a hint, it is one of the Natasha Denona mini palettes. I'm not going to tell you which one, but if you've been watching my videos, my last two were the nude palette, and so the mini nude palette, and the mini lamp. So if you can think of any others that I have not mentioned, those might be, the video might be of those. Never know. So I really like this coverage. It is definitely full coverage. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And like I said, my dark my dark circles, they don't play no games. They need full coverage concealer. So when one of my main top concealers that I always use is my Tarte Shape Tape. That one is amazing. Now this one I'm loving already. I'm already in love with it already and I only applied it once. So I'm really loving it. Gotta give you guys a closer look. So I'm gonna put this brush aside. I, and the brush actually worked pretty well even though it's not the NARS brush, which I will get eventually. I'm going to put the cap back on here. I'm going to put this little guy in my Natasha Denona slash Nard slash Sugar Jewelry bag. So I have little travel bags and I carry when I have one just for Mac, I have one just for Venti, I have one for Charlotte Tilbury and for NARS and for Natasha Denona in, in one because I have mainly the mini mini palettes the, you know like the five pan so I can't fit like a gigantic palette in there so I thought it would be and this look bag the famous little Sephora bag I think that's so cute it's gonna cute guys this bag was like four dollars and ninety five cents so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video um, I'm loving the concealer. I am doing another another video right after this one. Like I said, I just have to do my bronzer and stuff first. And I'm going to hop back on cam and I'm going to do the next video with a palette that I've been dying to try. Like you guys don't even know, I've been dying to try this palette for months and months and months. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Oh, and have you hit that subscribe button yet? Hit that button. I'll never let you down. I'll never disappoint you. And we will always have fun. That's a promise. I can see. See you guys in a few. Bye, guys.